Bigoted terrorists acts. That is what a San Francisco community leader is now calling two racist incidents targeted at a black man at his own home. SFPD is already investigating, but now Third Baptist Church Reverend Amos Brown is also demanding state and federal authorities look into it. NBC Bay Area's Gia Vang is in San Francisco. Ever since Terry Williams received two packages containing a black doll with a noose around its neck, telling him to leave the Alamo Square District and covered in such vile racial slurs are so bad we can't show them on air. I'm definitely not sleeping normal, normal hours. Like I'm like, I'm up, I hear something, I got to, I'm this constantly on alert. Yeah. Even though Williams was born and raised in this neighborhood and is a well-known figure as a dog walker, but the magnitude of the situation and whoever is behind it. You're crazy insane so I got to really take this seriously because you're doing all that brought him to third Baptist Church Mr. Williams knew the right place to come to he came to our service on Sunday morning Reverend Amos Brown and the San Francisco chapter of the NAACP have called on all levels of government from city to federal asking for investigations to find who's responsible and to accelerate their investigation so this young man will not get any more of this bigoted terrorist acts here in the city of St. Francis, a city that claims to be progressive and liberal. This is video showing a suspect hiding their identity under a hood and mask. Terry's neighbors are now raising funds to get him a more comprehensive security system. They're also asking anyone with cameras to check them for any suspicious activity on April 26 at 12.30 a.m. and the second one on May 5th, minutes before 2 a.m. Now's the time to stand up. Now's not the time to sit back and say, I don't want to be involved. Tomorrow morning, the community will come here at Alamo Square Park in support of Terry for a rally. That happens at 1030. SFPD, meanwhile, still looking for the person or people responsible. In San Francisco, Gia Vang, NBC Bay Area News.